Good afternoon from Calgary International Airport. My name is Alex and I'm off to Victoria with Lynx Air. Lynx Air is Canada's newest ultra low cost carrier and started operations back in April with three new Boeing 737 Maxes. I was on board that inaugural flight and now four months or so later, I figured it was time I gave them another try. Our gate for today is A14 and waiting for us there was this brand new Boeing 737 Max. Oh, that's a funny looking Lynx Air plane. Flying us to Victoria today is actually this Canadian North Boeing 737-300, registered as Charlie Golf Charlie November Oscar. Needless to say, there's a bit of a story behind this. Throughout the last couple of months, Lynx Air had been occasionally sub-chartering planes due to delays with getting more new 737 Maxes. As far as I could tell, one of those routes consistently getting non-Lynx planes was Calgary to Victoria. I needed to get to Victoria anyway for another trip, so I rolled the dice on the aircraft type, and lo and behold, I got this email shortly after checking in. I do have to give Lynx credit here, they gave a lot more detail than I would have expected, right down to the extra note about Canadian North's safety record. So, as odd as it might seem to pick a flight purposely because it's not what you usually get, for the aviation enthusiast in me, it makes perfect sense. Plus, I'm a huge fan of Canadian North anyway, they're one of my favorite airlines in normal service, and to get something a little bit different, plus their special CFL livery, had me super stoked. This livery first rolled out back in late 2014, and features the nine teams of the Canadian Football League, with West Division on the left side and the East Division on the right. Out of Calgary, Canadian North doesn't do any scheduled flights from the main terminal. They normally do oil field charters out of their own terminals on the southeast side of the airport, so all in all, this is a real treat. Let's go check out the CFL 737. Hi there. My seat for today is right in the front in seat 1F, and this might just be the best bulkhead seat I've ever seen. For whatever reason, the forward bulkhead on Canadian North 737-300s are staggered, leaving the right side with way more legroom than the left. Trust me, I sat in 1A on another, not really Canadian North flight, operating for Air Transat back in 2019. I'll go through all the details after we're airborne, but it's pretty standard as far as bulkhead seats go, with fixed armrests and no storage in front, as usual. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome on board. As you may have noticed today, you're flying on a Canadian North aircraft. That's a very special one, the CFL livery. I just wanted to take a moment to explain why. Lynx has been notified of a short delay in delivery of additional aircraft to their fleet. And until those aircraft arrive, their team has been working hard to partner with other airlines to avoid any flight disruptions. Other small select number of routes. And Lynx would like to do everything you can to make sure you get to where you're going with as little disruption as possible. As far as your flight today, you can expect to get your destination with the same care and safety as a Lynx flight. We are pleased to have you on board. We hope you enjoy your flight. With that, again, very detailed and welcome announcement, let's go to Victoria. Here's the departure from Calgary off of runway 35 left. As always, the Rockies never fail to blow me away whenever I'm flying westbound out of Calgary. In this row, the tray tables fold out from the armrest and rests just a bit low. 
the cabin crew quickly came around with the standard Lynx onboard service, which was complimentary water and nothing else. I didn't expect to see Canadian North's old pre-merger logo on the napkins, though. One thing that Lynx emphasizes, at least during their inaugural, was that food would not be available on board and that you should buy some in the airport. I did just that and had a now slightly squashed and very much overpriced turkey wrap. In the seat back pocket was a single safety card and the usual air sickness bag. Now, I rarely have opinions on safety cards, but this feels like a bit of a downgrade compared to the ones with the animals that predated the merger with First Air. Obviously, it still gets the job done, but it's much less interesting to look at. Canadian North 737-300 seat 136 passengers in the usual all-economy layout. The aft lavatory is pretty typical of most 737 classics, with just enough space and was kept nice and clean. As we reached our top of descent, the views just refused to quit. There's nothing quite like a flight over the Rockies on a subchartered 737 to remind you that you live in a gorgeous part of the world. It is kind of interesting that a lot of carriers can't seem to get maxes fast enough with time to be painted, as we've seen with two flare maxes being delivered in Air Europa colors, plus the Lynx Air Max in basic Norwegian paint. This summer in general seems to have been a lot busier for airlines than anticipated, both in terms of crew and airplane availability. To be clear though, that's a phenomenon that is most definitely not limited to Lynx. For a couple weeks, KF Aeroflyer was doing some flights for WestJet's low-cost subsidiary, and as I'm uploading this, they're also operating for Air North too. I'm sure Lynx is less than thrilled to have to spend extra money on these flights because of late max deliveries, but I also have to assume that there will be some sort of compensation for Boeing or the leasing company themselves. But I digress. With these beautiful sunset views over Vancouver, here's the arrival into Victoria, landing on runway 09. So that was a not quite typical flight with Lynx Air, or rather Lynx Adian North, I guess. Around the world, the ultra low cost carrier experience is generally pretty similar, since you really just pay for a flight and very little else. That was certainly the case today, but the added twist of it being a Canadian North plane made this much more interesting, and so I, for one, was very glad that this swap took place. Still though, Lynx deserves a lot of credit for being clear with their communication, as well as Canadian North for being ready to step in. These types of flights may become a bit more rare though, since Lynx has finally gotten a 4th and now a 5th 737 MAX. But yeah, a memorable flight and not in a bad way at all. I'd happily fly another one of these flights again, and if there happen to be any other notable substitutions in the future, I'll definitely try and get on board. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching this not-so-easy-to-explain flight, and I'll see you next time.